Good evening. And today I have Volcanics. I thought to myself, we're building fire decks. What fire deck do I want to make that's not ridiculously broken? And so I built Volcanics. Which I built at 43 cards, I believe. Because when I was testing at locals, I put these in. For budget, do not put these in. They are vastly overpriced for what they are. You don't need to play them. But I'm just saying that you can if you wish. So we'll start off with double heat of the fire charmer. Basically discard herself and a win and a fire. Get a fire from your deck. Uh I thought I'd add some extra normal summons, so I tried Neo Flambell Lady. Which is a quick effect. Send a fire monster from my hand to the graveyard. Target a card of your opponent in your opponent's graveyard and banish it, which can be real useful in this format to get rid of cards in their grave. And if a card is banished, while well, she's on the field, you can send a fire monster with 200 or less defense from your deck to the graveyard. Like, um, well, basically anything in this entire deck that's got 200 defense. I'm playing double trooper. I do have a third one coming. I just haven't had a chance to put it in yet. But imagine there's another trooper here. We're playing trip, uh, double trooper, which is the uh, add a volcanic card from your deck to your hand on normal or special. And you can discard a card, special summon a bomb token to your opponent's field if you wanted to. And then I'm playing double emperor, the, be the best boy. One, I uh, believe, wasn't enough, so I'm trying two. Especially in the format as it is, because it uh, destroys fires your opponent controls. Especially with, for example, Volcanic Emission. Which target a pyro on the field, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Or if you target a monster you put, uh, eye control, it's halved. So if you can you can use the, uh, uh, this deck to nuke your opponent's pyros. Which is pretty decent right now. But we'll get onto traps uh, in a minute. We'll play Triple Rocket. Add a Blaze Accelerator card from your deck to your hand. Uh, and then the standards, which is triple volcanic shell, triple scatter shot, and triple rimfire. I wanted an extra level four, so I tried slicer, just a one off. I, I was going to play two, but I couldn't find any on eBay, so I, I'm just playing one slicer because it, it does do an additional five hundred. It can be useful, especially if uh, when you're trying to for a burn damage you build. And the last ones I'm playing. Is two Agnanimal Candle because it's a level 4 Pyro Tuner, which is real useful for it being a level 4 Tuner when I get into the Synchros. So I'll show traps first because there's not many of those. We're playing Triple Emission and one Inferno. Inferno is when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, banish a Pyro from our graveyard to inflict 500 to them. And if that was a volcanic monster that you banished, you can negate your opponent's effect. It's a once per turn negate where you can just banish things. Because a Volcanic Emperor inflicts more damage the more banished cards you have. So you can inflict even more that way. And, and then there's a mission. Which is you can take a Volcanic from your deck and add it to your hand or special, sum or special summon it ignoring its summoning conditions. It can be also real useful. And then for spells. We're playing double standard Blaze Accelerator. Just target a monster your opponent controls, send a pyro with 500 or less attack from your deck, uh, no, from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do, destroy that card. It doesn't let you attack that turn, so it can be useful to inflict the burn damage. Uh, triple fire ejection. Send a pyro from your deck to the grave, and if, uh, if you send a volcanic, you can inflict upon, uh, damage to your opponent equal to its level times 100, so it's extra burn damage. Or you can special summon a bomb token. And then for the last couple we're playing Triple Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Which you can send Blaze Accelerator from your hand, deck, or face up field to the graveyard. Which is why I'm playing two. In case they out the original, uh, this one, you can do it again. Because it's once per turn during your main phase. You can special summon a Volcanic from your hand. Real nice. You can target a monster your opponent controls, send a, f a level 1 Pyro from my deck to the graveyard, and if you do, destroy that card. So you've got a nice selection of level 1 Pyros, being your Rimfire and your Shell. 
The last one we're trying uh, playing is Fire Recovery, which is target a fire once in your graveyard. Send one card from your hand to graveyard, and if you do reborn that fire that fire card. So if you send a, uh, one of your cards to the effects for like uh, heater, you can immediately bring it back. It's also really useful. So then for the extra deck, because Agdynamo Candle's level 4, and I've got a couple of level 4s like Volcanic Slicer, I'm trying Varam, the Magistus Divinity Dragon. Because uh, when this Synchro Summon card is destroyed, it destroys all cards your opponent controls. So if you need to, you can swing into your opponent's cards and nuke their board. Or the Synchros. I'll, I'll, I'll start with Synchros. I'm playing Gaia Blaze, the Force of Sun. I thought I'd try out this as well. If it destroys opponent's monster by battle, it can make a second attack. And once per turn at the end of the battle phase, you can target fires up to the number of uh, monsters your opponent's uh, controls that were destroyed and add them to your hand. You can uh, uh, recycle a couple of your effects. Lava of X Lord, the Negate Boy, level 8, just requires fire monsters. And I'm trying as well Burst Griffin. It's also level 8. And it's got the effect of... You can target level 7 or lower in your graveyard and special summon it. It, 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 it can come up every now and again. And if it's synchro summon using it, which it won't be... Yeah, it's mainly for the immediate reborn of a level 7 or lower. And then for XDs, we're playing Zeus, because of course we're playing Zeus. I'm also trying out uh, Salman Great Blaze Dragon. It just negates destruction. It can be a 23. That's really hard. You can swing this into anything, prevent its own destruction, and go into Zeus with it. And double Infernal Flame Banshee. Because you can remove a material to take a Pyro from my deck and add it to my hand or send it to the grave. Really good in this deck. The only problem is there's not a huge amount of volcanic level 4s, apart from Rocket. You can also use Flanvel Lady, which is why I put her in there. And that one copy of Splicer, wherever he is, just because he's a level 4. It can also be really useful. And then for Link Monsters, we're playing Do Little Chimera. Fires get buffs. Also, and then you can send the things to the graveyard, and then they're in the graveyard to act to the effects. Ujinki Hashima. I like checking this guy in all my Xyz decks, just because if there's level 4 in the graveyard and level 4 in your hand, you can immediately Xyz with them. So you can go into... into Blaze Dragon off uh, Infernal Flame Banshee with it. And if it's in the zone uh, Hashima points to, and it does something, you get to destroy spells and traps on the field. Does occasionally happen. Heater is amazing right now. If your opponent's playing fire, you can steal their fire cards. If you wanted to, you could take out Do Little Chimera and add some more Heater, the Fire Charmer. Uh, Almirage, because occasionally you do brick and you only start with one monster. Almirage is alright for that. And Blow Whale, in conjunction with Promethean. You don't have to play Promethean. She's, uh, she's not as expensive as she used to be. This one I got trading at locals, but I would rather play the cheaper version so I don't damage this one. So if I could trade this for like six of the original one, I would do. Because Promethean can be used in conjunction with Amblo Whale to get extra destructions. She brings them back and Amblo Whale destroys cards. It's nice. It's probably, I think this is the most expensive. Random pyro deck I've ever built. But as I was saying, you can add bonfire if you like, or you can even add snake eye to it. If you really but the problem is snake eye is fairly expensive right now. So if you're going for more of a budget build, I think that this is fine. The most expensive card I think is this one. She's 35 pounds in the UK right now. And Zeus being your biggest boy. But the rest the rest are really cheap. This is tens. Nice and easy to build. Fire Recovery is such a good spell to bring your cards back. Uh, emission for the burn damage. It's real nice. So for side deck, I was originally going to play a Volcanic Counter. Because you can send it to the deck to the graveyard. And then 
It's like when you take damage, your opponent also takes damage. So that'd also help with the killing your opponent immediately. I haven't had a chance to put this in yet, but I will I will do. And one copy of Volcanic Queen, because it is a Volcanic, it is a Pyro, it's searchable, and it is a Kaiju. And if you use that in conjunction with Volcanic Emission, they, they take 2,500 damage. Because it is a Pyro on the field. And it's not your card, it's theirs, so they take that extra damage. Yeah, that's Volcanics. It's a nice, li nice little uh, deck I've been testing out. I haven't had a lot of testing on this yet, because I haven't had a chance to get my third trooper. I think it really needs the third trooper to shine. Yeah, nice little uh, fun deck there. I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.